Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we are going to show you the most satisfying factory machines and tools you've got to see. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. First up are some powerful 5-axis CNC machines by Breton Spa. CNC machines, especially those that are 5-axis, allow for the precise manufacture of complex components. In fact, as you can see, it can recreate sculptures in great detail. Next up is the metal casting process, as demonstrated by the Sarin Corporation. The production of metal products is a multi-step process that begins with heating the metal, then pressing this metal into a shape before cooling the product down. The metal is pressed into its final shape after being put into a cast and then pressed down on by a hydraulic hammer. Next up is Hermley's demonstration of a 3-axis CNC machine. Though 3-axis CNC machines might not have as much maneuverability as their 5-axis counterparts, they are still used in the real world just as much, if not more. This is because much of the time, the 5-axis CNC machine is simply not needed. And that's not to mention that it costs more in the first place. To finalize this product, however, Hermley does switch over to the use of five axes to produce the complex contours shown. Next up is a demonstration of Apillion's automatic cage welding machines. These cages are used to reinforce concrete tubes and other structures. Next up is another demonstration of a 5-axis CNC machine by Martech CNC. Here is a demonstration of Seco Tools 3-axis Niagara Cutter. Watch as it precisely mills out its assigned component.
Next up is RCM's demonstration of rotary friction welding. The process involves spinning up an object to high speeds and then forcing it into contact with another. This creates an enormous amount of friction heat, essentially welding the two objects together. Next, we will see how Sisma uses CNC and other machining techniques to create complex and beautiful products. Here is Busted Rubber's satisfying approach to combining different plastics together. Next up is Materium's use of water jets to cut into a variety of different materials. Next up, in a process similar to the one we just saw with the water jets, we're going to watch as Weber uses laser cutters to cut into a variety of different materials. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.